Algebra 2, this video lesson focuses on chapter 6.9, which teaches you how to figure out what the cubic function is when you're looking at a graph of a cubic function. So here's that example that um, I'm going to work with, this graph of a cubic function. And I'm supposed to write down what the cubic function it, um, itself actually is. Okay, well, first of all, I'm going to identify the x-intercepts and I'm going to turn them into factors. So um, if negative 1 is one of them and positive 2 and positive 3, I change all those signs and I'm going to end up with x plus 1 instead of negative 1, x minus 2 instead of positive 2, and x minus 3 instead of positive 3. But notice I don't know there could be a coefficient and, and will be a coefficient on this, um, uh, on this polynomial that's going to influence how tall all of these peaks are. So I'm going to have to leave in a placeholder. We've done this once before. I'm going to leave in a placeholder A. From this step, I can use any point that goes through the crosshairs. In other words, any point on the curve where I can identify the coordinates. And I clearly can here because the textbook has given um, these coordinates to me, 1 and 8. So I plug in the 1 and the 8 in place of y and x. And that's what I've got here. Instead of f of x, I called it y. Instead of y, I called it 8. And for the x's, I plugged in 1. OK, so now that simplifies to a times 2 times negative 1 times negative 2. Or in other words, 8 is equal to 4a. And so a is equal to 8 over 4, or in other words, 2. I plug 2 in for a into what was almost a complete equation here. And now I have the complete cubic function. There it is. So if you need to, don't hesitate to hit the pause button and study all of these steps. But if you think you followed that, then go ahead and try this one. Hit the pause button. And when you come back, I'm going to show you the completed answer. OK, I'm going to assume that you did that. This one's a little bit trickier because of a couple of things. First of all, please notice that the intercept negative 3 here changed to positive 3, of course, when it becomes a factor, um, is a bounce point. So the degree had to be even, so I've made it 2. Otherwise, this should be pretty much like the example that I gave you. The only point I could quickly identify that clearly goes through the crosshairs that isn't a 0 is the, this one here, negative 1, negative 4. So I've plugged negative 1 in place of the x's and negative 4 in place of f of x, or in other words, y. And I run this through, trying to figure out what a is. So if negative 4 is equal to 2 squared times negative 2, then negative 4 is equal to negative 8a. So a is therefore a half, and I put 1 half in place of a in the equation that I had up here. And this now is the cubic function that describes that blue curve there. That's it. Again, don't hesitate to hit the pause button to study this all out if you didn't get this answer. And if you didn't, again, don't hesitate to come into class with questions. That's it for the lesson.